Hi, they say that you can lose yourself in books, but you can also find yourself. And I think that we can all relate to that feeling of paging through a book and becoming totally immersed in it, in somebody else's thoughts and their words, the true beauty of the written word. Today, I wanted to share with you some of my key favorites from my brain library. The first one is Curveball, When Life Throws You a Brain Tumor. Now, this was written by Liz Holzemer. Now, she was a journalist who was diagnosed with a meningioma. And I picked up this book about a week after I was diagnosed with my brain tumor. I wanted to read somebody else's journey, their story, about what I was about to embark on. And this was a really great read for me at that stage of my own brain tumor journey. My second book is one of my favorites. It is Becoming Dr. Q, and this is written by my own neurosurgeon, Dr. Alfredo Quinones. I picked this up about a week after meeting him. This is his personal story about how he went from being a migrant farm worker and through sheer brilliance and a lot of hard work, went to being one of the world-renowned neurosurgeons. This is an amazing read and an inspirational read for anybody who is looking for a good book. So definitely one to put on your reading list. After my neurosurgery in 2012, I shifted gears. I wanted to really understand more about what was going on in the confines of my own brain. I had a renewed appreciation for it and I wanted to read more about how it worked. So I picked up a book by Norman Doidge called The Brain's Way of Healing. Now he is one of the founders on research on neuroplasticity, which is all about the brain's ability to reconnect, especially after trauma and an injury. And he has a great way of dealing with a very hard and challenging topic. He includes patient stories and just the way he writes is really easy to read. So this is a good book if you have any interest in that area. I'm ending off with a book which has been incredibly useful for myself and I would highly recommend to anybody who suffers from chronic headaches or migraines such as I do. It's called Heal Your Headache by Dr. David Bushaltz. And this deals with the role of diet, the role of lifestyle, medication, and also triggers in our life and how to work with them and not against them. So if you have this yourself or you have a friend or family member, I would definitely recommend putting this one on your to read list for sure. So I'm hoping I've given you some uh, ideas on what to read. If you'd like to look for more, because I do definitely have more on my list, visit twosteps.ca under the Brain Tumor Resource page and you will find some there. Or you could also read Two Steps Forward, Embracing Life with a Brain Tumor, which is my own book, if you haven't read it already. And so I'm hoping today that this has given your own brains a little food for thought on what you can read, and we'll leave it there for now. So thanks for your time, and cheers for now.